Hey everybody, it's Randy here with Lowbuck LS. Just wanted to shoot another quick little video uh, getting started on uh, fabricating the manifold for my turbo project. So I'm going to try and uh, attempt to turn this pile of parts complete with this uh, scrap chunk of uh, three inch pipe that I salvaged from a metal bin. Uh, that's kind of going to be the main part of the manifold there. Plus I got uh, uh, LS manifold flange water jet cut for like 20 bucks and got some of these inch and a half weld L's and a three inch uh, 90 degree weld L and a 45 degree weld L and I'll be welding it all up or with this uh, Millermatic 175 so I will uh, pause the video for now and uh, resume again when I have a little more to show talk to you in a bit Okay, I'm attempting to uh, use a chop saw to uh, cope an angle into this weld L. So just, I'm not much of a fabricator, but I kind of did some research on uh, pirate4x4.com and found a way of uh, coping tubing um, using a chop saw. So I'm gonna attempt that. So first thing I'm gonna do is uh, in order to cut it, I'm gonna attack it. To this chunk of c-channel so i'm going to make a line down the, the center of this c-channel here and set that to the side for now and then i'm going to mark the center of this weld l i'm not I'm not used to filming so uh i'm not thinking about having things angled for the for the camera but Marking the center of the outside of the weld L and the center of the inside. And then I'm gonna line it up with this line on here and tack it down. And then I can put it in the chop saw and make a cut because it'll be real hard to clamp this piece securely on the chop saw. And I'm also gonna mark the center of the outside here. And that'll be the mark that I line up the chop saw blade with. So I'm just gonna pause it for now and get the and get this weld L tacked down to this piece of C channel and get the chop saw set up. So we'll talk to you shortly. Okay, so I'm ready to attempt to uh, cut an angle in this uh, inch and a half weld elbow. And I'll show you guys a little program. I'll put a link to it in the description. I figured out if I make a cut that's at a 64 degree angle to the center line of the pipe it should made up pretty good with the three inch pipe I'm trying to cope it too so um, yeah I got her tacked to this piece of C channel and I got my uh, chop saw set to make a 64 degree cut so I will make that cut and we'll see how it lines up with that uh, three inch main piece of the log manifold so that's what it looks like after I made the cut in the chop saw. I'll just uh, grind it off of this piece of C-channel and clean up the mouth of it with the grinder a little bit and see how it mates up to that three inch main piece. Okay, so I got that piece uh, off the chunk of C-channel and cleaned it up on the grinder a bit and you can see that it uh, fits pretty good. It sits at a bit of an angle i think i calculated like a 75 degree angle or something to the main pipe and there's not much of a gap all the way around so i think uh we'll call that one good and i'm gonna make two more of those and uh yeah then i'll be ready to start welding i'll talk to you in a bit and there are all three of the uh weld l's that i've got coped and ready to made up with the a three inch main pipe there so i'm going to call it a night and uh, pick up again uh, tomorrow or another day so we'll uh, you guys have a, a good night and uh, yeah i just wanted to say again thanks for watching i know there's a lot of a uh, lot of options on youtube as far as what to watch as far as automotive stuff so for anybody who's taking the time to watch this uh, thank you and uh, 
Remember to like and subscribe if this is something you're interested in. And uh, you guys have a good night. We'll talk to you next time. And here's one more shot of how they're uh, basically going to sit on that uh, flange that I had made up. So.